Watois family, what's going on? It's your boy, Mr. Watois. And I know, like y'all been wondering, the same thing I've been wondering, what is Bitcoin? And how do you get rich off of Bitcoin? Well, today I'm gonna go ahead and try to figure this out. And by the time I was looking at it and trying to figure it out, I was like, you know what? Let me do this with my Watois family. So we're gonna figure out what is Bitcoin and how we all can get rich off of Bitcoin. Now, before I get started, I am not a professional at this Bitcoin. I do not have no Bitcoin. I don't have an account or nothing. I'm just a person that was wondering what Bitcoin is. So I'm going to make this video the same way I'm learning. And the same time I'm learning is the same time I want y'all to learn too. So let's go ahead and get started. Now, I went to this website. I'm going to put all the website links down in the description just in case you want to go you know just verify certain things and look yourself so the very first thing is what is Bitcoin now they said right here as I'm looking through Bitcoin is a protocol where email is a protocol for sending messages over the internet Bitcoin is a protocol for sending money over the internet the Bitcoin protocol defines the rules of a payment network called Bitcoin that uses a currency also called Bitcoin to pay computers around the world for securing the network. The software that implements the Bitcoin protocol uses a special branch of mathematics called cryptography to ensure the security of every Bitcoin transaction. The rules of Bitcoin protocol include the requirement that a user cannot send the same Bitcoin more than once and a user cannot send Bitcoin from an address for which they do not possess the private key. If a user tries to create a transaction that breaks the rules of Bitcoin protocol, it will automatically be rejected by the rest of the Bitcoin network. Wow, that's crazy. So basically it's like sending money over the internet, but you can only send it once through an email, and then after that the email is done? Like, it doesn't make sense, like it's weird. So Bitcoin has addresses, which is shown right here. It says Bitcoin ownership is secured by a special code called a cryptographic key pair. Each key pair is made of two coins, a public key and a private key. A public key is transformed into a Bitcoin address that is used to receive Bitcoin transactions. The private key is used to make a digital signature that sends Bitcoin from one address to another. Okay, so it got a, a picture of a, what a Bitcoin address looks like. Um, Bitcoin addresses are often turn into QR codes so they can, okay, be easily scanned by a smartphone. Okay, cool, cool, cool. They also got Bitcoin wallets. Bitcoin wallets are software applications that implement the rules of Bitcoin protocol to ensure that users can easily and securely send and receive Bitcoin transactions. Bitcoin wallets also show information about each transaction that is relevant to the wallet, including transactions sent and received by the wallet. To receive payment, a wallet will usually generate a new address for each transaction. To send payments, the wallet will digitally sign transactions with the correct private key and broadcast transactions to the Bitcoin network. Over a transaction, oh, oh okay, it says once a transaction is confirmed by the network, the wallet will no longer be able to spend the same Bitcoin using the transaction again. So basically, it's like it's like using like an email or a transaction once so that's how it secures something so if you if once it sends that thing gets deleted so it's basically taking away it's taking away banks which is the middleman it's crazy so what I'm getting is Bitcoin what Bitcoin is trying to do is take away banks like you know how you know when you work like you know what I'm saying when you work you get a deposit and it goes to a bank account and then for you to get your bank, um, well, for you to get your money, you got to go to the bank or go to uh, ATM, withdraw it. Um, if you want to buy something, you have to whether put the money in your account and then purchase it or you have to. Um, and then if you want to buy something, purchase something, then you you basically have like a, a viral, not, not, not viral, but like a, it's like a social kind of Internet thing in the network world where you interact with that person without the use of a bank account like a bank or a middleman you just basically agree that I'm gonna give you this and then you're gonna receive that or whatnot and then you go your way I go my way and they will never be able to come back to this because that transaction 
as, as you know, that transaction link gets deleted, which is pretty cool. I think it's uh, it's a little bit secure, but you know, man, with with the people that's out right now, how smart people are getting. I mean, you can easily hack anything. So let's look at this. They have some things called okay, Bitcoin mining. All right, they got some. Um, I guess yeah, it's. It, this thing looks like a dang on CPU fan. Like it looks like a big old CPU fan. But basically, this thing is used for mining Bitcoin, so you can mine Bitcoin and gain more Bitcoin. There are between 12 and 13 million Bitcoins in existence. Okay, so it gets rid of the banks and stuff, so everybody makes money. So it's like a, it's like money just being recycled and it's circulating so much because, all right. So if okay, if there's two people that want to make a transaction, but they don't have the power to do it, and I do then they can make the transaction through my system and then I receive a fee, a payment, like a fee from making that transaction. So he gets the money, but I get a percentage of that, like a fee, like, you know, just a little small fee. That's, I don't know, that's kind of weird. That's kind of weird. It's, it's, it's just all really, 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 really confusing. All right, all right, all right. Forget, all, forget all that, man. Let's get down to the nitty gritty, man. I know y'all was looking like, dang, man, Mr. Watois getting all educational on us and stuff. Nah, man, you know, sometimes on this channel, man, I like to, I like to bring, like, stuff that's going on, you know what I'm saying? Like, I know I play around a lot, I'll be doing, like, a lot of funny stuff, I'll be doing comedy and, you know, making y'all laugh, but at the end of the day, sometimes when it comes to something serious and we have to really get down to the nitty gritty, yeah, we gotta get down to the nitty gritty, and I feel like Bitcoin, if it's something that we all can get, you know, popping off of, you know what I'm saying, get, get uh, money off of, then why not? I want y'all to get down in the uh, comment section. Actually, right now, for one Bitcoin, is about it's almost about seventeen thousand dollars right now. One Bitcoin, so it's going up. Um, what I want y'all to do is I want y'all to get down in the comment section and let me know what y'all feel about Bitcoin. Let me know if you are doing Bitcoin. Like, um, how did you start? Uh, where are you at now? Do you have a lot? Well, I don't know if you need to disclose all that, but just let us know how you, you know what I'm saying, how you doing with your Bitcoin. And, and y'all let me know, do y'all want me to start Bitcoin? I, I feel like I want to, but then again, I don't because I think when it comes to value, as far as money, I think your money should always stay in cash, physical cash, or in, or it stays in gold. Like you invest that in gold. If it's not in cash or it's not in gold, Definitely don't put in no diamonds. Well, you playing, you put it in diamonds. Put it in gold or cash, and that's it. But let me know what y'all think about this Bitcoin, man. You know what I'm saying? It's your boy, Mr. Watoa, man. I'm about to upload another video in a little bit. So I'm going to see y'all I'm gonna see y'all tomorrow. I'm going to see y'all today. It don't matter. Here you go, man. It's your boy, Mr. Watoa. See y'all tomorrow. Watoa!